Hey guys, I'm Eric Hansen, and this is a new episode of Tracking Dirt. And here I am in Butte County, California to explore the amazing mountain bike trails, waterfalls, wildflowers galore. We got great stuff, so check it out. If you love the outdoors, California has it all. It's home to some of the most impressive and beautiful landscapes on earth. And it features nine national parks, more than any other state in the country. It's not surprising when you consider the diversity of the place. And so, when it came time to choose a starting point for my road trip, I decided to head north to the outdoors mecca known as Chico in Butte County. So are you familiar with the area at all? I have never been here before. And what would you like to see? Good single track if we got it. Okay, we do. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And there's a there's a chance to see Indian relics if you're into that, or some caves possibly. That's out here too. Uh, a few waterfalls going right now. Bring and it on. Wildflowers. It's it's really like you couldn't have come at a better time. It's like ideal. We are in Upper Bidwell Park in Chico, California. The draw to mountain biking out here is really if you enjoy a rocky technical challenge. If you want flowy, smooth trails, you're just gonna go to any of the neighboring towns. We just have a special kind of lava rock here and it makes it really rocky and fun. Tim is an old pro, literally. But even though his competition days are done, I've got my hands full keeping up with him. We're riding a network of trails in Upper Bidwell Park, a 3,600 acre piece of land that was donated to the city and has now become one of the bigger city parks in the United States. So what's down here? This is a Maidu Indian cave that has um, acorn grinding stones on the floor all over it. What? Really sweet. So here we go. You can see there's like smoke all over the ceiling of it where they have their fires. Basically right all where we're sitting Oh yeah. Is where they prepare their food. All these little grinding pots. Grind up there. Wow. Their dinner. And it was primarily acorns, is that what they Yeah, um, it's the super researchers super prepared? abundant. Well you got acorns, you got a lot of pine nuts also. Yeah. Somebody would have been here for a while. Yeah. Probably a couple of generations. Rocky and fun are not two words that go together very often, but the technical challenge of the trails proved to be as enjoyable as Tim promised. As we ride along the upper rim of the Basalt Gorge, I'm doing my best to stay on track while absorbing some of Upper Bidwell Park's beautiful surroundings. You know, it's really good for anybody. If you want to just take your kids out, you can ride up the park road or maybe hit a little bit of lower trail. If you want a, a more of a challenge, you're gonna go farther up into the north rim or on the south rim, deeper into the park, it's more technical usually. If you wanna spend all day out here riding, like I said, you could do 50 miles and just ride, truly really try to hit all of them. And that's a fun day. What I thought would be a casual day of riding has turned into a quad burning epic, well over 20 miles. As we ride back into town, my calorie depleted body is looking forward to making a stop at one of Tim's favorite post ride joints. Fully diving into the California culture here, I order my favorite flavor of blue. Cheers, Tim. Thanks for the epic day. Chico lies on the doorstep of the mighty Sierra Nevada mountains. To explore these parts, I meet up with Jason Mandley, a local naturalist who calls these mountains home. Our mission is to hike some of the waterfalls that Butte County is known for. Made it to the top of Feather Falls. Got this amazing river. The color of it is just so clear and blue and beautiful. And just right over here, it's fallen over 400 feet into this amazing ravine below. This feels a little precarious here. Yeah, it's uh. But this is amazing. This water is so crisp and clear. Oh yeah, this water is so powerful. Is this all from snowmelt? Right. Yeah, snowmelt and groundwater. This is an impressive place. It's 
So we're getting up to a waterfall over here? Yeah, we're gonna get up to a um, really nice waterfall. It's called uh, Ravine Falls, also known as Fern Falls. It's a great stopping point right before we get to Phantom Falls. So that's really cool. Especially with like that other ravine coming in right there. We're wrapping up our day here in Butte County. We're on Table Mountain and the wildflowers are going off. And it's just been an amazing time. I've been exploring with Jason and he just knows a ton about all these areas and all the wildflowers. And uh, here at the edge and the sun's going down and it's beautiful and gorgeous. And I'm loving life here in Butte County. Well, that wraps up our explorations of Butte County here in beautiful California. I'm Eric Hansen. This has been another episode of Tracking Dirt. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to our videos because we're bringing to you world-class destinations all the time, delivering them straight to your face. Boom!